Yo, 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 back, yo, 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 back, yo, yo, we back again today. Today, I, um, I, I'm, I'm having a really good day today. I'm just going to say there's, there's always days in your life where you're going to have good and bad days. And today I'm having a good day. But one of the reasons I'm having such a good day is because, uh, yesterday, one of my friends, um, uh, I actually made a video, uh, it's called, uh, Somali Cultural Center, uh, African American Somali Connection. And my Somali friend, uh, my homeboy, you know, he knew or he saw in that video, um, you know, how much I wanted this African um, um, piece of art. And he went and got it for me. He bought it for me. Like, can you believe this? Like, yo, I'm having such a good day. So let me introduce you to the girl that I've said in that video. If you haven't seen that video, uh, it should be in uh, up here or somewhere around there. And it should say um, African American Somali Connection, uh, Somali Cultural Center. Check that video out if you want the reference of what I'm talking about. But yo, look at my girl. She's back, yo. Can you believe that? He bought this for me yesterday. I'm so happy that he bought it when he told me he had it for me it was like uh such a lovely thing you know what i'm saying like such brotherly love between black men and and you know giving me a gift and i thought this was so dope that he he bought my girl yo i, I told him he was laughing too actually because he was like i when he called me he told me or whatever and he gave it to me i was like yo you bought my girl you know what i'm saying you bring my girl back to me he's like yeah i got your girl for you i say oh yeah this is my girl but look at her i mean look how beautiful that is and so today we'll be talking about a vlog um or this is a vlog we'll be talking about why it's important to me uh, to collect African art. Now, for me, first of all, collecting African art, I mean, the first reason for me, and I don't know if you guys feel this way, but the first reason for me, if you don't know, is first of all, it's beautiful. That should be the first thing. I know there's way more important reasons for it, but this, first of all, it's beautiful. If you think and look at all kinds of different African arts, whether it be all around Africa, right? Even the art that has been created by uh, um, African descent people in the diaspora, right? Like Jamaican art or African-American art, especially back, uh, you know, like in the 1800s and 1900s and things like that. And, um, you know, whether it be uh, mask or paint paintings or statues or whatever it might be, right? It's beautiful stuff, right? It's so beautiful. And, and, and also the second reason outside of it just being beautiful is that it tells history, right? Even if you don't know the history of that art, you still get a feeling and you still get a connection with it as, um, you know, as a black person and you get a connection with it and you can see that even if you don't know who you are, even if you're the person that doesn't know your heritage at all when you see this you know and it connects you somehow you know i mean i, I know why but it's it's our history but it connects you even though you can't uh, uh get to the middle of the connection right you're on this side of the connection the other side of the connection is your history and you're in the and you're on this side but in the middle there's something there even if you don't know what it is that links you to your past and to your people when you see black uh art you know so anyways the second reason like i said is because it's very important it tells history right depending on some uh, depending on what ethnic group you're from or what countries you're from this art could tell you history it could tell you um, and, and it could tell you history in the art and what people were doing at that time period and also it is a reference to um, the future, right? The future generations or to your generation now currently or future generations about how uh, how crafty a people were and how innovating a people were or how um, uh, intelligent that they were or how co spiritually connected they were with the earth or with their uh, traditional religions or whatever it might be, right? Or the universe, whatever it is. So that's the second reason. The third reason uh, for me, the reason I collect African art is because I need to pass this down to my kids. I have to pass these type of things down to my kids, my my kids' kids, my kids' kids' kids', kids, kids my great, 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 great grandkids in a uh, thousand years from now, 3,000 years from now. 10,000 years from now, a million years from now, if we're still here, we don't kill each other or if we don't go to some other planet and get, you know, destroyed by whatever other beings are out here in the universe, right? But let's say even a million years from now, a million years from now, who knows? The earth could go back and humans could could go back to the way they were or maybe they'll just keep advancing, right? But most likely it will be keep advancing, but we have to keep history like this alive. We have to pass around African art and, and um, African uh statues african mask all kind of things like that because this is very important to me when i when i show this to my kids or even the uh, the imagery right of, of things around your house can teach your kids it can teach your kids history it can teach them uh instill pride into them when they're growing up when they see um you know african uh, statues or dolls or masks uh things of that nature right this is what stills instills pride into them and you if you know 
uh, the history on a statue or the history of a painting, explain it to your kids or explain it to um, another person when they see it. Don't just say, oh, that's art or that's African art or that's whatever art. Explain the history. If you know it, if you don't know it, it's good enough for it to even just be sitting there, right? Because it sort of speaks for itself. But if you know the history, explain it so they can pass it along to their kids because even though we think sometimes, especially um, with, with the, I think a lot of us African Americans, even when we think that some of the elders are just passing along little, uh, like little memories that they can't remember exactly 100%, that's how it always been has been in Africa, right? Even there's some people that know exactly accurately that pass down history orally through their mouth, and some people just know pieces and bits, but even the pieces and bits matter because if you have a piece and bit from your grandma that she doesn't remember exactly everything or your grandfather and then you have a piece and bit of another elder that you go meet so maybe it's your uh, friend's grandmother granddad uncle whatever whoever it might be that's older than you and they have a little piece of information it starts to connect the dots right it starts to connect the dots where you're like oh okay they used to do that over there oh i did this over here so just because you can't get all information from one area doesn't mean you shouldn't get information from different areas and piece it together and that's why these type of things are so important because even if you don't know what was going on at the time period at least you can look at certain time periods or traditional and see that things like this existed people like this existed uh, the way that she was sitting the the traditional clothing she was wearing the 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 beads around her neck these things still exist now but who knows how long they'll exist i hope they exist forever right i hope i hope people that want to live traditionally as far as like um, ancient culture can survive forever but I don't I can't say that, that that's going to happen I want it to happen but I can't say that that's going to happen even uh, 3,000 years from now or even 200 years from now I would love that I want that more than anything I think every human being has a right to live they want to live if you want to live traditional mixed with modern or I don't even say modern but traditional mixed with whatever society you're in live that way if you want to live just exactly in that society 100% it's not my favorite thing but yo live that way but if you want to be ancient and live in your traditional culture, be able to live that way. So I thought that this would be a nice vlog. My friend, he was so nice to give me this. This, I mean, I was amazed. Like it made my day. It made my whole week. Actually, it made two weeks. Anytime I go to a um, African um, store, um, whether that be African American um, from the motherland, from Caribbeans, when they have so many masks, I'm just like, yo, take my money. Like I'm closing my eyes. Just take my money. I'm out of here, yo. I wish I had a million dollars to buy all this. My whole house is going to be filled with African arts everywhere, everywhere on the wall, uh, or in the bathroom, on top of the TV, everywhere. That's a good thing to instill in your kids. And it's beautiful. It's our history, right? Even if this comes from a different uh, peoples that you're not from, you got to remember at the end of the day, I've got tongue twisted. At the end of the day, we all root come from one place, right? Regardless of how many ethnic groups there are now, how many different countries there are right now, we all come from one place. So therefore, when I see this different kind of African art, it's the connection with me and it should be a connection with you because it's art of our people, right? Even if it's not exactly our people, it's still our people in a different uh, side of the country or continent or whatever it might be, right? On the other side of the world, whatever it might be, right? So therefore, I thought that this was really beautiful. I thought you guys would really enjoy it. I'm so happy. My boy, Rahim, I appreciate it so much, yo. He just surprised me last night and I was really, I mean... I, I don't think he understands how much this means to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, these type of things mean more to me than anything. You know, our culture and our history and preserving it and keeping it, is, even if it's uh, a people that can only uh, have a little bit of African art or history or books in their house, right? That's still preserving it. For, it doesn't have to be in a museum, right? We're preserving our stuff as a people. So don't ever think that if you see something like, oh, let me just throw it away. Because even if you don't collect certain things, right? Even if you don't collect African art, don't just throw it away or any kind of art give it to somebody else there's somebody else that wants it you know to me this means more than a thousand dollars some people will think i'm crazy but this means more to me and my culture and my heritage and passing this along a black art to the next generation and to look at it every day rather than even a thousand dollars i'll take this over a thousand dollars right now i'm being truly honest with you but you know it's a beautiful thing and it means more to you right it's in the eye of the beholder right so whatever means more to you means more than 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 whatever else it is to you right so i thought this would be dope yo this is my new girl like i always tell all the girls yo this is my girl yo she's with me now she's 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 riding with me you know it's it's just so dope it's so dope i really appreciate him for giving me that and this was a little vlog on african art yo if you ever seen any african art let me tell you something before i leave if you go to a lot of places especially in america like yard sales there will be African art. Matter of fact, I found one of my African masks at the thrift store. Not saying that they can't pop up anywhere, but this African mask was carved from Ghana and it says in like 1910 or something like that. It's like 1909 or 1910 and it says it on the back, right? 
I don't know what from what ethnic group, but I can sort of tell, sort of kind of through the mask. But it was at the thrift store. And when I seen it, I was like, my eyes lit up. I was like behind the case and I looked at it under the case and I was like, yo, I gotta have that. And I went to go ask the lady and she was like, oh, some African American lady was in here yesterday. She wanted to buy it, but she said she's gonna come back for it and come get it. And I was like, well, dang, I feel bad a little bit because I'm like, yo, you probably really wanted this, but I bought it and I only bought it for $6. You know what I'm saying? That's the crazy part about it. It was only $6. Like. It was handmade, it's so dope. Uh, you guys probably seen it in some of my videos, it's on the wall, but it's so dope. And um, yeah, so, you know, I thought I would make a little vlog about African uh, art. It's very beautiful, we need to collect it. Um, you know, my house will be filled with it. Hopefully your house will be filled with it too as well. And when you see things like this, yo, take them and collect them. These are uh, very, uh, very much treasures just as much as anything in the art museum. So yeah, some things are rare from Africa, some things are not as rare, but in a sense, these things are all rare because at some point this way of life is going to never cease 100%, but it might be a thing in the past. So you you should probably try to collect them if you can. But this means more to me, even than a collector's item. This is my culture, my heritage, my heart. And when I see this every day, I want to pass this along to my kids. What's up, what's up? Hey. Oh. Shalom. What up? Hi. 